viewing this video, you will be able to analyze atoms in a compound and demonstrate understanding by calculating the appropriate molar mass. B-O-C-A-B-U-L-A-R-Y Vocabulary Atomic mass unit. The unit used to describe the mass of an atom equals the mass of the proton. Now, the way they got this is they took the carbon-12 atom and they divided it by 12. So 1 12th of the mass of the carbon atom equals 1 AMU. So in the example, the mass of the carbon equals 12.011 AMU. Atomic mass. An atomic mass is the weighted average of a given element's isotope. Using carbon as an example, we would take all isotopes of carbon, add them together, and divide by the total. So for example, take four carbon-12 atoms, plus two carbon-13 atoms, plus one carbon-14 atom. Divide it by the total, which in this case is seven, and that will give you the average atomic mass of carbon. Remember, Protons plus neutrons equals the mass of one atom. Using carbon again as an example, we have six protons plus six neutrons equals a total mass of 12. This will be measured in atomic mass units. Gram formula mass. Mass of the entire molecule. For example, water, H2O, the gram formula mass is 18 AMU. Percent composition. Percent composition is the percent by mass of each element or compound. Using water as an example, in any given amount of water, 89% of it would be made up of hydrogen and 11% of it would be made up of oxygen. Did you know? Percent composition is used in everyday life. If you look at a nutritional label, the percent daily value tells you how much you have compared to how much you need in a given day. Reviewing what we have learned in Chem A, water can be considered a pure substance. It is a pure substance because it is made up of only H2O molecules. These H2O molecules are known as compounds, and these compounds can be broken down into elements H and O. In your studies, you may be asked to find the molecular mass of different compounds. In example one, you will be asked, what is the molecular mass of water? To solve this, one might be tempted to literally weigh and find the mass of a water molecule. Now, we cannot actually do this. So to solve this problem, we break water down into its elements, hydrogen and oxygen. From there, we determine the mass of each element. The mass can be found at the bottom of the atomic symbol on your periodic table. Looking at the mass for hydrogen, we have 1 AMU. Doing the same for oxygen, we see that oxygen has a mass of 16 AMUs. Applying this to the entire molecule of water, with two hydrogen atoms at 1 AMU, and one oxygen atom at 16 AMU, we take the summation. So one AMU plus one AMU plus 16 AMUs equals 18 AMUs. So to answer this problem, the molecular mass of water is 18 AMU. Determining gram mass formula. Here are the steps that you need to remember. First step. Determine the mass of each atom. Next, determine the number of each atoms in the compound. Next step, multiply the mass of the atom by the number
number of atoms in the compound. Last step. Just add the mass of each atom together. Example 2. Determine the gram formula mass of acetic acid. To begin to solve this, we have to determine the number of elements in each compound. The three elements we have in acetic acid are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. There are two carbon atoms in acetic acid, four hydrogen atoms, and two oxygen atoms. Step two in determining the gram mass formula is to determine the mass of the element. The mass of carbon is 12.011 AMU, the mass of hydrogen is 1.008 AMU, and the mass of oxygen is 15.999 AMU. Remember, this number can be found at the bottom of the atomic symbol on your periodic table. The last step in determining gram mass formula is to multiply the number of elements in a compound times the mass of the element, and then add these values together. For carbon, we would multiply 2 times 12.001 to give us 24.002 AMUs. Doing the same for hydrogen, we get 4.032 AMU. And lastly, for oxygen, we get 3.998 AMU. Adding these values together, we will get the gram mass formula of acetic acid, which is 60.032 AMU. What's next? Taking our review of water with the chemical formula H2O, the atomic mass is 18.02 AMU. Now, we can take that and determine what percentage of water is made up of hydrogen. Percent composition. Remember, the percent composition is the mass of each element in a compound compared to the entire mass. This can be found with the following formula. We would take the molar mass of each element and divide it by the mass of the compound and multiply that times 100%. This will equal the percent composition in each compound. Note, the sum of the percents should always equal 100. Example one, what is the percent composition of hydrogen in water? first step is to calculate the molecular mass of our compound H2O. If you do not remember how to do that, please go back to calculate molecular mass. Notice the percent of hydrogen, 11, plus the percent of oxygen, 89, equals 100%. So always, always, always make sure your percentages add up to 100. Continuing on, we need to use the equation molar mass of an element divided by the mass of our compound times 100% will equal percent composition of the element in our compound. So with water, hydrogen, which has a mass of 1 gram. However, in water, we have two hydrogens, so we have two grams. Those two grams divided by the 18 grams of the mass of the compound times 100 will give you 11%. For oxygen, that has a mass of 16 grams. Divided by the mass of our compound, which is 18 grams, times 100% equals 89 Example 2. A compound contains 2.30 grams of sodium, 1.60 grams of oxygen, and 0.100 grams of hydrogen in a 4 gram sample. What is the percent composition of each element? In this example, we have several given pieces of the equation. For example, 
example, starting with the element sodium. The mass for that element is given at 2.30 grams. The same for hydrogen at 1.00 grams, and the same for oxygen at 1.60 grams. The total molecular mass of this compound is given at 4.00 grams. Normally, we would have had to solve for all of these, but with this example, these are all given. To actually solve this problem, we can now plug our given pieces into our formula. So for example, with sodium, we take 2.30 grams, divided by our total mass, which is 4 grams, multiply it times 100%, and 57% of this compound is made up of sodium. Doing the same for hydrogen, we divide 0.1 grams by 4 grams, multiply that times 100%, and this compound is made up of 2.5% hydrogen. Lastly, with oxygen, taking 1.0 grams, dividing that by the total mass of 4 grams, multiplying that times 100%, 40% of this compound is made up of oxygen.